Hello everybody, this is Dean Hayek. We're gonna show you how to do some delicious flan today. All right, here we go. So we've got four eggs. We're gonna put them in this bowl. Three of those eggs though are gonna be the white, uh, and I'm sorry, the yellow is gonna go in here. The white is gonna be just here in the shells, okay? And then the last egg, we're gonna put the entire egg in here uh, with the white in it. So we got three yolks in here and one entire egg with the yolk and the white in here. Okay, and then we're gonna mix it nicely together. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and put this Nestle Carnation. Uh, it's Leche Evaporada. We're gonna go ahead and put the entire can in here. And that's gonna be about, oh, I wanna say right close to 11 and a half, 12 ounces. And then we're gonna go ahead and use this beautiful Nestle La lechera can right here. We're gonna go ahead and use three quarters of that can. It's got 13 ounces in it, so probably close to nine and a half um, ounces or so. And we're gonna put that in the mix right here in the bowl. And then one tablespoon right here um, of this vanilla extract. Only one tablespoon. And we're gonna mix it all together right here. And then when we're done, we've got brown sugar brown sugar, not white sugar, brown sugar. We're gonna go ahead and cook this in a frying pan and it's gonna be, that's gonna be your caramel um, at the end of the day, okay? So we're gonna mix it all together. Then we're gonna heat up the whole flan. We're gonna heat it up for an hour and it's gonna be at 400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So we're gonna take you here step by step to see to show you the process. All right, guys, I went ahead and put uh, three egg yellows in here and um, we cracked the fourth egg we actually put it in here and one of the yellows actually got smeared in here so we're gonna go ahead and blend these eggs together here okay okay so now that's how uh, the entire egg mix would look now we're gonna go ahead and get this entire carnation going that's the next step okay so here we go all right, everybody, we went ahead and put in a whole can here and a three quarters can of the La Leche and the one tablespoon right here of the vanilla mix. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that up right now. All right, everybody, we went ahead and mixed the flan already. So this is how it looks, nice smooth texture with bubbles here on the side that you can notice right there that shows you that it's been really mixed extremely well and there's no uh, dots, no black or brown dots in here at all. So we are gonna go ahead and do the brown sugar next. We're gonna heat up this brown sugar right over here and we're gonna put it in a pan. So we're gonna take you step by step with that. All right, so the next step, we went ahead and put this sugar in this kind of a typical, uh, like a teacup but we're gonna go ahead and use uh, only a quarter of a cup here and we're gonna pour it into the pan and it's probably gonna sit here for about three minutes uh, in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump it now uh, in the pan right here. We're kinda gonna do a nice little format right here and then we're basically gonna stir it too with the spoon right here for the next like three minutes to where it like turns nice and brown right here. Okay, so we've got the fire up here so just stand by and watch this brown sugar turn into caramel uh, very, very, very soon, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and mix it. Like I said, you wanna give it about three minutes while you're mixing it here. Okay, now we went ahead and uh, mixed it right here. So it took about, yeah, almost three minutes of mixing, two and a half, three minutes. We turned on the fire a little bit right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it into this glass uh, right here, this glass container. All right, because we don't want it sitting there in that pan too long right here. We want this caramel to look nice and smooth. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and put this caramel inside the uh, big oven here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and let the caramel uh, just sit here for right about maybe two, three minutes, just so it can cool down a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the rest of the ingredients on top of the uh, caramel and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven right here. So we're gonna show you how that's done right now. And then on a side note too, this is where we heated up that brown sugar. We went ahead and just cooled it down a little bit with cool water and it's just sitting here on a cloth for now. So it doesn't, so the pan doesn't get all sticky on you. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pour in the ingredients here on top of the caramel right here. So it's nicely done. All right, there you go, that's perfect. And then the next step obviously is gonna be, we're gonna go ahead and place this 
uh, right here into a um, container that's got like water around it and we're gonna put it in an oven. So we're gonna show you what we mean by that right now. All right, so this is the aluminum tray. It's just a cooking tray right here and we're just gonna fill it up with uh, water. Um, right about half the tray, not necessarily fill it all up. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and just put in the, um, uh, we're gonna put in the ingredients, but we're gonna keep that other tray. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that foil paper on top of the flan, the flan container that we have right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it loosely, not so tight. And we're gonna go ahead and move it and put it on top of that tray that's got the water in it right here. Okay, and then after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of more water right around uh, the tray right here, just to complete that process. All right, there you go. So now the tray is almost full right there, pretty much full. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and push that um, tray in. And we're gonna go ahead and keep the setting right here, right around 400, maybe just slightly below the 400 degrees right here. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for right about an hour. Okay, so it's gonna be a one hour countdown and we'll be back to see how this all looks. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video here, okay, because it's gonna be about an hour. Uh, but basically, after you freshly take it out of the oven, you're gonna check the consistency. It's gonna be a jello-like consistency. And then you let it sit outside for about 30 minutes on your counter. And then best thing, best practice is put it, put it in the fridge for about another half an hour so that it could be nice and, and cool and uh, fresh. And I promise you, it'll be one of the yummiest desserts that you've ever had. All right, guys. Enjoy. Hopefully this video was helpful. We'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you.